Hey yo, what is up guys, Akkar here back with another video. Today we will be taking a look at the 74HC595. This IC is a pretty popular IC in, in electronics. It is used uh, pretty much in many projects wherein ESP8266 or the Arduino Uno is involved. It's a shift register with a latch. It is used in many applications wherein you need to control many LEDs. Say maybe you need to control more than 20 LEDs. Uh, so as you don't have those many digital pins available on the Arduino Uno, you will be using the 74HC595 to do that. Each IC can control up to 8 uh, LEDs or can you be used to uh, take inputs from 8 switches. It will be controlled with the Arduino Uno using 3 pins. So essentially you can control infinite number of LEDs using an Arduino Uno, but that will require inf infinite divided by 8 number of 74HC595s. Another popular application is the 7 segment display that you have. So these displays have uh, 7 LEDs and 1 LED on the bottom that's the dot. And for you to control this from an Arduino if you plug this directly in you'll have to plug in 8 wires and you'll have to occupy 8 pins of the Arduino. So instead you use a 74HC595 and this is the kind of a circuit that you make out of the 595 and then you have three GPIO pins which you connect to your Arduino Uno and you can cascade many uh, displays, seven segment displays over here. To understand this concept of shift registers and latch, we'll be taking a look at the circuit of this wherein we'll be controlling these LEDs using the shift register manually which will make our understanding more clear. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned to the video. We'll be understanding how the 74HC595 works and you can use that with your projects. I recently came across PCBGoGo.com. They are one of the most experienced PCB manufacturers from China. They offer 10 PCBs for $5 only with several shipping partners. They even offer 24 or 48 hour express service. Apart from getting your PCBs manufactured, you can even get PCB assembly, layout and stencil manufacturing as well. Do check them out. All the relevant links will be in the description box below. So the 74HC595 is basically a shift register with a latch. So I've drawn the basic block diagram of the same wherein we have the shift register and we have the latch. The 74HC595 has a serial data input. So you can only input data into this IC uh, using a serial methodology. But the advantage is that you have parallel data outputs or a serial data output. But there's this advantage wherein you can use it the other way around wherein these parallel data outputs can be used as inputs when we use buttons but that is a bit complex which we will be taking a look in a, in a later video. Today we'll be focusing on basic functioning of this and how everything works together over here. So how a shift register works is when you have a serial data input it's a string of ones and zeros. So when I input data over here, it can be one, zero, one, zero, one, zero, and one, zero. This serial data input gets into the shift register and gets divided into this parallel data output or eight bit data output that you can say over here. So, so let's say that the data comes in like this way, and this is the first bit over here. So I'll quickly distribute this. So what happens is when the zero comes in, it gets root rerouted over here. But when the one comes in, the one comes over here and the zero gets rerouted over here. When the zero comes in, it gets rerouted over here. So zero comes in here. The one comes from this place to this place and the zero which ha was present over here comes over here. So when all the data is set, this is the status of the pins you will have. If you check with a multimeter, this particular pin will be at 5 volts high, this will be at ground or 0 volts and so on. For this to happen, if you understand that if I had 8 LEDs over here and I, I wanted to uh, glow random uh, LEDs over there, I would have passed a random serial sequence data input into the A pin which is on pin 14. We'll be taking a look at the pin, pin layout later in the video. 
but that is how this data gets distributed once this data is distributed sometimes we do not want in mid process so for example i would have only entered 010 which was present maybe on these three bits i did not want to output that in my main output so that is why we use a latch what a latch does is it has a latch pin over here when the latch pin says it's okay to latch the latch will take the inputs from here and keep it on the output so you can say it's like a switch based on the latch pin it will switch on all the outputs based on the inputs when the latch pin says so we'll be understanding these four pins in a bit detail later on but this is essentially what is happening in the shift register and a latch the shift register will shift the bits one by one uh, towards the bottom if if we would have shifted this once more the data would have flown out of the shift register into this particular pin this is how you can daisy chain shift registers so for example we would have 174hc595 connected over here so if you would have wanted to control more than 8 leds in a go you will connect this shift register over here the serial data input of this shift register will be connected to the serial data output of this shift register so once you're pushing data over here the pushed data overflows from this shift register and comes into this and this shift register will play its part simultaneously this is how you can technically or ideally daisy chain infinite number of shift registers hence you can control infinite number of leds with shift registers even if you have only three gpio pins on your arduino uno or any microcontroller that you're using but only when the latch is operated or the latch signal is said that it's high this will come as an output on this shift register so as we see that there's no latch on the serial data output this will be always on or off depending on what the operation is going on on the shift register and the output of this will not depend on the latch signal like in all the digital electronic circuits the clock signal plays a very important part over here as once you're sending a zero so for example i wanted to send two zeros in this shift register the only way that it will be able to differentiate between a one zero and two zero is based on a clock signal clock signal is nothing but a square wave signal which is constantly 010101 after each clock cycle that means after each 0101 the signal gets changed and we can say the register will shift so for example i have set this pin as 0 and i have one clock cycle so 0 will come over here once the second clock cycle starts and ends the second zero will also come over here and the first zero will move down to the second bit that is how shift register works with the clock similarly you have a clock for the latch which is latch pin so latch pin also operates in a similar fashion whenever a complete clock cycle completes for the latch pin the latch will operate and it will latch out all the signal that is had typically in arduino circuits for each shift register latch clock cycle operates in 1 by 8 times the frequency of the clock cycle so that once the entire register is filled only then the latch gets opened and the output comes out for the user to see other than that we have a reset pin which basically will reset the shift register and will turn all the outputs of the shift register to the latch as zeros and the serial data output as zero as well which is low we have another pin in the latch which is output enable the output enable pin is an active low pin so you need to keep this zero at all times so that your latch is on or your latch is active if you have this turned to one or high what will happen is all your in outputs of the latch will turn to zero that means there will be no output on your latch irrespective of the previous state of the latch or the new state new inputs that the latch is having from the shift register with this theoretical part out of the way let's take a look at the pin diagram of this and let's take a look at the circuit that we have So the 74HC595 has 16 pins, eight on each side. This is the pin diagram that we have for the 74HC595. 
If we would have seen in our previous diagram, the pin that we have as the serial data input is on pin number 14. Then the 8 bits that we have over here, which starts from QA, is on pin number 15, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. The power lines, that is VCC and ground, are over here. Note that this is a 5 volt logic level IC, so this is very much suitable for your Arduino projects which are 5 volt operated but not very suitable for ESP. This does work on 3.3 volts as well but it's a 5 volt logic level IC. Apart from that then we have these 4 pins. The clock is on pin number 11. The reset pin is on pin number 10. The latch pin, latch clock pin you can say is on pin number 12. Then you have the active low output enable uh, pin on pin number 13. On the output side we have the serial data output pin on pin number 9 and that is all that is present with the 74HC595. To replicate this manual circuit, what I have done here is I have connected LEDs to all these 8 inputs starting from Q, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. So this is the first one whenever I put in serial data to my uh, register, the first pin, which is QA, which gets latched, is this LED. So you will see the LEDs moving towards the right because the left is QA, which is the lowest bit uh, in the shift register. Then we have three buttons over here. Each button replicates three pins from here. The first one is the latch button, which when pressed will replicate a latch clock signal, which will get the output on this LEDs. The second one is the clock which is over here and the third one from here is A which is over here. So when I press this button, the one will go into the shift register but will get registered only when I press the clock button. So right now I'll first press the latch button as the shift register is already in this stage with 0111100. I'll simply press a clock cycle. What this clock cycle would have done is sent in a zero into the register because the A cycle that is the input wasn't high. It's all it's it's grounded by this register. Now when I press the latch, this moves one bit forward and a zero enters and a zero exits through the serial output. I have not connected anything to this right now, but if, if we would have daisy chained another shift register to this, it would have shown that bit incoming to the shift register. Now let's enter a one. For entering a one, I need to hold this. This will keep the A pin high and I need to create a clock cycle, which I just did by pressing the clock button while I kept this high. Now once I put the latch on, you see that the first LED came on and the others shifted towards the right. Now let's do another blank cycle and let's see the latch. What happened right now is this is a concept called debouncing wherein while I press the ma button manually, there were three clock cycles which passed, which essentially replicated three clock cycles. So we see that the LED shifted three times towards the right. This I see when used with an Arduino or a proper electronic circuit does not create this type of a problem wherein the clock cycles are generated by crystal oscillators or your Arduino. So that makes it pretty fast. You will see thousands of LEDs shifting uh, within a millisecond. Let's play with this a bit more. I'll enter a one and then I see that I entered a couple of ones because a couple of clock cycle passed through and uh, let's give some blanks and the LEDs shifted a lot. So like this you can light up the segments in your seven segment display using your Arduino. The only three pins that you need for this to happen is the latch, the input pin and the clock pin. So using these three pins you can create this magic. You can use the output enable and reset pins also in your favor and to daisy chain the 74HC595s, you can use the SQH pin, which is basically serial data output pin. I hope this was interesting or useful. I'll link in all the relevant material, read material, data that you can find. The code for controlling this seven segment will be on my GitHub using your Arduino. You can play around with that. 
do let me know in the comment section below if you have any doubts regarding the 74 HC 595s or you want me to elaborate more on more applications that the 74 HC 595 has and uh, that's it for my side for today thanks for watching subscribe to our channel if you haven't till now also hit the bell icon to stay notified this is Akash signing off